Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Lotro stream. I am Maiden of Rohan. I'm your host tonight and super excited to hang out with you guys. So grab a drink, some snacks, and sit back, and we're just going to chill out tonight. Hi, Sargareth. How's it going? Evil Twin, Deathman, Ninth. It's good to see you guys. Woot woot. Hey, Maiden of Behan. <laughs> Oh gosh, I got to hear Grizzly do his Gollum impression again today, um, telling me that I'm so bae and it just makes my spine cringe, but it's so funny. Hi Kalami, am I saying your name correctly? You have to let me know. <laughs> hey Technical, long time no see. <laughs> Drinks and snacks, I'm already in bed with brushed teeth and everything. <laughs> what time is it for you, Sarg? She says good to see us because she's played horror games. You have no idea how happy I am right now to be here with you guys playing Lotro. After playing that game. I can't even remember what it's called. What was it? That I, uh, Among the Sleep. That was terrifying. And Zinger was in my Discord trying to scare me the whole time making scary sounds. He only succeeded a couple of times. 10 o'clock and you're in bed already? <laughs> Zinger, what? Lies. Whatever. He knows he did it. <laughs> hey, Balkanian. How's it going? Good to see you guys tonight. I've got an awesome group in here. It's awesome to see everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Awesome. Who else is in here? Everyone has to say hi to me, so I know you're here. Also, can you guys hear the music? I think I have it set. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> All right, awesome. <laughs> you lost your bat form, yes. Wasn't that one super cute? I love the the little bat one is super cute. I was hoping that they would keep some of the Halloween ones and they did. They did. Oh my gosh. Kalami, 4 a.m. Awful. Does not sound good to me. I need to move my mouse pad here. There we go. Yes, Zinger definitely was trying to jump scare me. Although he will probably ever deny it. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Objection overruled. <laughs> Death man. Yes, reveal yourself or it will be farts for you. <laughs> oh my word. No escaping that, is there? Was that a week ago? Was that on the Lotro stream? Yeah, it was. Oh, that whole fart thing was only a week ago. My word. Mm, I don't really need to do this because I'm like five levels above it and I don't really need that. Cordovan posted another six minute clip of that. Wait, what? What happened, Deathman? Need to get some sleep, Evil Twin? Get up early for work. Aw, well thank you so much for at least hanging out to say hi, Evil Twin. Thank you, we'll see ya. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Is 
Singer, you're too funny. I bet you're sorry Corvon caught wind of that clip, eh? <laughs> of your t-shirt you're planning to do. Oh, are you talking about the highlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My priorities shirt that says, priorities, number one, family, number two, food, number three, locho. Someone suggested instead of writing food that I wrote bacon. I think it'd be funny if I did food, like, and then parentheses. Oh. Ninth, thank you so much for tweeting. I appreciate that. Didn't Mort look so cute as a little bat? Wasn't he just adorable? So cute! <laughs> Can someone post a link of it of my tweet in the chat, please? The one that I did of Mort and the little bat face. In case you guys missed it, you need to see it. It's pretty adorable. And I, I, the part I love the most is because it changes the voice, so when Mort talks, he just sounds so cute. <laughs> it cracks me up. Thanks, Zinger. You're on top of it. Struggle is real when you don't have cook high enough to make... Oh, yes. Essence. Ooh, Zinger beat you two at ninth. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Olip's in the house. How's it going, Olip? How was your after work extracurricular activities? That's true. Zinger's in my Discord, so he had probably a good 10 to 15 second advantage on getting that that tweet out. Hey, Jet. Discord cheating confirmed. Yep. The scare stream was so... Ugh. I thought, you know, just like those things would randomly show up just to scare you. Now they can kill me. Those things will kill me. And it's absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So, yeah, it went great according to, you know, if you're looking at me being scared. <laughs> Get on in here and say only nice things, Nye. Well, why would you say that? Ninth always says only nice things. That's just who he is. Yes, the evil true be true beads. <laughs> the evil tree beards killed me twice. They're terrifying. <laughs> hey, crazy trick. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. It's nice to see you in here. Your friend Alp has just started watching. Twitch is spreading lies. Me, Alp's friend? <laughs> I know I kind of like that. Now when you jump in, it will tell you which one of your friends is in there. Which is very cool. Yeah, it is kind of stalkerish. <laughs> it is a little bit, but I like it. Say something one more time, Ninth. I'm testing the volume. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to say? That's good. <laughs> You're like, crap, I'm on the spot. What am I supposed to say? Everyone is Olip's friend. Elrond has healed Frodo of his Morgul wound, and now the time has come to decide the fate of the One Ring. I can see no other path than that which leads to Mount Doom. Who then shall defend Eriador against the shadow of Angmar? Yes, everyone is Olive's friend, and if you really know how to tease him, then he'll make you a mod. Yep. 
That's very true. Wait, Zinger, why is he your doppelganger? I don't know. He posted some tweet that he apparently, he apparently like Snapchat, I guess. So you did have a good time at the party, Maiden? I did. It was awesome. So we had a nacho bar, which was, of course, I mean, delicious. You can't really go wrong with a nacho bar. And Nachos. Had... <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I'm a little jumpy from the last stream I did. Sorry. Um, <laughs> was that Zinger? Yes, that was. Um, so nacho bar, and then we had like sliced apples and caramel and just a bunch of yummy stuff and of course a bunch of candy. And we played some board games and some catchphrase and some other stuff. It's pretty low key because it was a Monday night, so people still had to get up for work, but it was fun. Oh, well, that's cool. Thank you for asking. Now, when you dipped your chip, did somebody say, hey, that's nacho cheese? <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sargareth. Oh no, you threw your back out. Shoot. Well, sleep, and I hope that you feel better tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, feel better. Seriously, that's never fun. That is not a good thing. So, I have this incredibly awkward story to tell you guys. I told gamer gramp i think he was the only one. Oh, so i'm at work and i'm checking out my client and i've scheduled her and now it's just time for payment and she usually pays with a check every single week she comes and uh, um this time she's like i think i'd like to put that on my card so i get out my like credit card swiper i punch the amount in and i said okay i was like i was like waiting for her and she just kind of stood there and so I put my hand out, like, to take her card. And she stared at me for, like, five seconds. And my hand is like this. I'm like this. Like, you know, you're going to give me the card, right? And she awkwardly goes like this. And grabs my hand like this. In this extremely awkward handshake. And she starts shaking my hand. <laughs> and I was so taken aback and bewildered at what just happened I realized she thought I previously had her information that I could just do it without her swiping the card so but I was just so thrown off by this and then my first thought is oh my gosh she thinks I'm a freak like who goes to sh she's thinking I'm trying to shake her hand and I'm like this and that's super weird. So we're awkwardly shaking hands. I'm like, oh, what do I do? So she doesn't think I'm super awkward. And then I like, I'm like, well, I hope you have a good day. I like pull my hand away and give her a hug because you know, that makes everything better. Give her a hug. <laughs> and, and then I just was so flustered that I just didn't even say anything. Cause she comes every week and her it's, I would get it the next week. And I would say, oh, I need that number again. Cause it didn't go through. It'll be fine. So I didn't even take payment because I was so flustered and it was so awkward. That's my awkward story of the day. So there you go. That's what we call a happy ending, you know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does she have no idea? I don't know. I think I have no idea. I don't know, Death Man. I just know it was really awkward. And when awkward situations happen, I do not think clearly.
Well, that's kind of odd because you've always got given off the impression to me that you'd be perfect in social situations. I know. Thank you. I appreciate that because I know you're totally serious. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. I know. That's what I appreciate about you. <laughs> uh. For the most part, I'm. Believe it or not, I'm a pretty normal, functioning, mature, somewhat adult. <laughs> as long as there's not a doorbell in there. As long as there's not a doorbell, then pretty normal. Pretty normal here. But some situations just throw you off and you just sometimes react in weird ways. Ninth, was it you who were saying that you had the trick-or-treaters that were coordinated and dressed as Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends? Yeah, there was about five of them. It was like Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Rabbit, oh, that's um, so cute. Piglet, Eeyore. It that's was a whole awesome. bunch. And you gave them extra candy? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Plus, we had uh, we'd done it overboard. Like, we did not get that many trick or treaters. Oh. But we ended up getting one of those big, like, Costco or Sam's yes. bags of chocolate. So, yes. so <laughs> you had to get rid of candy a ton anyways. of chocolate. Did you eat a lot of it? Uh, no, because I knew if we kept any, we would just, like, tear it up. So right. I just started, like, shoveling out huge handfuls. Of right. Candy. Here, take this gallon bucket of candy. <laughs> Lavy says, so if I ever meet you and we're about to shake hands, I'll just give you my credit card. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I just can't, I, I'm trying to think of what was going through her head. She must have been thinking, what is wrong with this girl? <laughs> Which is probably what you all think at times. <laughs> right, Knight? <laughs> Here, here's my credit card. No, no hugs. <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone, make sure to get your steel key freebie. That's only through November 3rd, so you have two days left. And it's, um, what's it? Steel key is the, it's right there in the chat, so make sure you do that. And storage is on sale this week, though. That's a good thing. Yes, which I did purchase some. I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I did multiple TP runs just to get some more storage. <laughs> <laughs> when you said TP, I thought toilet paper, and I was really trying to figure out what that had to do with Lotro, and then I quickly realized, yeah. All right, let me dumb it down. When I did turbo <laughs> point runs. <laughs> Thank you. I understand now. It just took a second. <laughs> then turbo points, though. <laughs> I would like to point out last week's stream when I accidentally said farting instead of fighting, like 10 minutes later, Olive did the same thing. He m meant to say part and he said fart. So I'm not the only one, but I'm the one who somehow is just, it's just blown out of proportion. That's all I can say. There's probably a lot of puns you could use with that, but whatever. Play in the streamer. So as long as Olive does it too, then it's all okay. <laughs> no, but I feel a little better about it. <laughs> He's like, nope. Yes, I can too prove it, Olive. I can find it. Wait, that wasn't epic, was it? Zinger, did you do anything for Halloween this weekend or last night? Uh, nope. Nope. Did you get your candy on sale? I got some candy on sale, yeah. 
Good, I'm so happy. Thanks for asking. <laughs> what is that voice? What is that? Now he has a crazy Kit Kat stash. <laughs> he's hyped up on sugar, that's why he's talking all crazy. There was further proof of Maiden's obsession on Olive's channel. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Zingor doing your voice. I, oh wait, that was me. That was supposed to be me. That yeah, was him I mocking that too. me. Where? Yeah, who I, I'm, not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> wow, I sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Never have truer words ever been said. Oh. Bam! You just lobbing giant softballs. Up. I'm like, here, Zinger, take this. <laughs> Whoops, not singer, knife one. I I am like, after that stream I just did, my brain is slightly scrambled. And uh, Zinger was in there trying to scare me the whole time. That was true. That did happen. Did you finish no, the game? No, I didn't. Um, <sighs> apparently it only gets scarier. Oh, cool. And I decided I will only play when there's people in my Discord, which thankfully there were four, so I was okay. As long as there can be other voices besides the game noises, I don't think I could just play it with nothing else going on. <laughs> I really hope I get to hear Zinger do that mocking voice of mine again. That was really entertaining. Do it. Alep, what's up with you? How are you? I'm feeling well. Yes, you're feeling well. Glad to hear that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Olive, did you have a good Halloween? Uh, yeah, I didn't do shit. Or stuff. <laughs> Forgot we're on the official. <laughs> I watched Maiden scream and piddle herself. And <laughs> then whatever, you know. I did not pee my pants. I did fall on the ground oh, once. Oh my god, that was awesome. And that, the worst part was that whole stream was terrifying. But the one thing that wasn't meant to scare me and that was completely accidental was Hunzi's cough, and that's what set me on the ground. Yep, that was great. So did the kids go out all up? Yeah, they did some trunk or treat, and I think my son went with one of his little buddies. He was like a six foot panda. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He was a where, panda? Yeah, I don't know why, where he came up with that, but I need that's, to figure it out and tweet it because it was That's awesome. cute. That's funny. Did you say trunk or treat? Yeah, that's where like people go in like a park or a circular thing and Everybody in the neighborhood just pulls in with their car and they open up their trunk and they have candy. Oh. That way it's kind of, you know, a little safer for the kids. Yeah, and that makes sense. Everybody can mingle and... So, you know, yeah, kind of like a block party thing, so it's a little more... Yeah. That's kind of yeah. cool. I had never heard of that. I was like, trunk or treat? Ooh, Don't try to sense. figure it out, Death Man. You're in New Zealand. They just, like, kill wallabies and... <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> What, Maiden? You mean you don't keep candy in your trunk for the little kids? No, that's Big Ed and Olip, not me. Yeah, well, my big white van. <laughs> I bet Down you do drive by the river. Van. I can see that. What? What kind of car do you drive? Don't you worry about it. A white van, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I, you know what, Olip? I got something in the mail today. That's uh -oh. for the stream we're doing. Is it like a square Frankenstein gray wig? Well, it's something that goes on my head. That's all I can say. <laughs> technical. Mina of Rohan is innocent. That's right. That's right. Oh, technical. Come on, technical. I am. You guys are. You're not ones. in here enough to pay attention to the, the stuff that comes out of this woman's mouth. I. It is never me. It is never me. And to be honest, now that I think about it, all of us were pretty well behaved and normal until we started hanging out with Maiden. Oh, That's whatever. Right. That is a, a right, bunch right. of crap. 
Dance ran, no, I didn't wear an orc costume. I didn't even get dressed up on Halloween. Wait, you mean that pimp outfit was a costume? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> no, he was just doing his Monday night rounds. You know, that's, gotta collect I thought that that's money. just what you did on Monday night. Gotta get paid. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that picture of you in that costume. Can you post that so people can no. see? Oh, no, I'm going to do it. I look like 10 pounds of ass in a 5 pound bag. You put it on Twitter, afro. therefore it is public property. <laughs> We're gonna have a conversation. Don't you know how that happens? Oh, how did I just see that? I think I look like Zinger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what you were talking about, Zinger. I couldn't figure out. That is funny. Oh yeah. Okay, everybody. Check out this link. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Beating is gonna happen. And I'm going to wear my wife beaters and a banana hammock. Oh, that's a terrible picture. <laughs> it's so funny. And then if you guys missed it, what a pimp. <laughs> Here's the video I did tonight for Mort and myself. <sighs> and I have like two inch, three inch heels on, man. It's awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, my are you wearing shoes. freaking heels? No, I'm just tall. What's up? <laughs> Oh, too funny. So that's your workout fit, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Gotta handle up all my H's. Technical says white beater banana <laughs> hammock sounds comfy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Try it out, Technical. Stream uh, it next time. I don't want to hear about this. Oh, Olip, I like that picture you have of the AT&T Tower looking like the Tower of Mordor. <laughs> that one's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. Did you guys see the picture of um, the wig who wore it best with my husband and I? <laughs> he, I might have to vote for the man on that What? One. He had little pouty lips, so he gets bonus points. <laughs> and there's the link of the AT&T Tower. That one's cool. <laughs> that one is really cool. Okay, so you're saying I'm just supposed to go to Rivendell? No one would recognize me with my clean shaven Movember face. Oh yeah, anyone who's doing the Movember thing, go ahead and post your link. Technical posted his, feel free to post your stuff in there, guys. Technical, did you join my team or is this your own thing? <laughs> uh oh. Uh-huh. We're getting some, uh -huh. some territorial things going on here. Maybe you, I haven't seen you join mine yet. I have that? not yet. Uh, most likely I will just donate. Trust me, you don't want me to grow my armpit hair out, remember? I don't want to see that. <laughs> I think everyone just cringed there. Oh, come on now. It's your, your stream. They were cringing already. <laughs> Snap! 
I Man. feel like what ninth sits with a like a little notebook and either thinks of these ahead of time or if he says it then he'll write it down. He's like, Oh that was a good one and he like keeps track because he's so proud of himself for these telling you. witty disses. Now tonight can't really be blamed on me. You've been tossing me some softballs. I can't I can't help but swing at them. I, yet. I know, I know. I don't do it on purpose. Wait, it won't let me go to what the heck? Oh well we're just doing that. I actually tried to not say anything on that last comment. I just I just wouldn't let myself. <laughs> you yeah, you tried so hard. <laughs> oh, Kalami. You should sleep. You need to get your sleep. I mean I love when you hang out with us, but you need to get your sleep. Really, Gantran? Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go play some Battlefield, so I will see y'all in a bit. It sounds good. Don't die. Hey, y'all. <laughs> you die a lot. <laughs> Alright, I'll up. watch the salt. It will be well represented. It's Ginger Snap with two P's, Gantaran. <laughs> that will pretend like there's not a story behind that. Yeah, except no substitutes. <clears throat> like the one that's chilling on Gladden. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Poor Ginger Snap one. Is she still around or did you put her out of her misery? I think I put her out of her misery a little, like, uh, maybe a month or two ago. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I couldn't bear to see her. <laughs> it caused me pain. There's nothing sadder than a character in your roster that you know you're not going to go back and play. Right. You know it's like, well, that's depressing. Especially if you've been out of the game for a little while and you are out of that server for a while and you log back in and you're like, who the hell are these people? Yeah, I don't remember doing this. <laughs> who are these people? That's funny. Okay, Ganter, and I'm adding you to my friend list. And I gotta add a note or else I won't remember. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Zinger, you have to promise me that at least one more time tonight you'll do that voice <clears throat> at some point. Alright, Gantran, you're on the friends list, but party with her at your own risk. You know, dismemberment <laughs> is no fun. Whoa, what the heck? I just clicked up. Well, I didn't want to do that yet. <laughs> Dang it! Yes. Be my friend at your own risk. Do you play on Arkenstone? Um, I do have one character on Arkenstone, and I think it's like level 17 really low level but i don't play on that too often it's more for just a beginner character to play with some people who i might meet <laughs> technical landrevo for the win he knows not the tale of poor old jet <laughs> death man so true 
Death Man like played three weeks in a row with me, and then he kind of disappeared for a month to recuperate. And then he was in earlier to say hi, but still not ready to come back. Too brutal. Okay, guys, I gotta go get ready for work. Have a good stream, Maiden. Thank you. We'll see you later, Jet. Thanks for popping in. Oh, my pleasure, always. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, All right, see you next time. Yeah, he still sounds like he hasn't fully recovered from playing with no. you yet. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't think he has. <laughs> huh. Who was it last week? Was it Hunzi who I was playing with? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's why I haven't seen him around lately. Yeah. I was wondering. Uh, I should have people sign a disclaimer before they play with me. <laughs> Death man. Mr. Maiden must be Superman to survive her. <laughs> Actually, Deathman, we've determined that he's Santa Claus, so I'm sure he does have magical powers. <laughs> yes, he does. Ninth, were you in here that one time when I tried to get him to bring me some water and he instead said it all the way across the room because he didn't want to come in front of the camera? That sounds vaguely familiar, yes. I'm like, I was like dying of thirst. I'm like, please bring me water. And he just like cracks the door open and I think I said something to pick on him or tease him and he just sets the water right by the door and I was like so upset. But it was funny because I didn't want to get up and get it. Use the force, maiden. Yes. Oh my goodness. I remember, let's see, how old was I? I was probably about seven or eight. And I fully, 100% believed in the force and that it was real. And that if you tried hard enough and willed it enough, that you could use the force. Like, I'm not even joking. So seven, seven or 18, you said? Yep. <laughs> I, so I tried. I tried to become a Jedi and I failed. So my dreams of being a ginger Jedi Knight never came to fruition. Never give up on your dreams. I had something similar to that. I was just a kid when uh, Return of the Jedi came out. And after seeing that, uh, pretty shortly thereafter, I went to the zoo. And I was really mad they didn't have any Ewoks. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I love it.
I also believe that Toy Story was real and that my stuffed animals were alive. And I remember <laughs> taking, okay, okay, I need to pause for this so I can explain it. So the stuffed animal I had was called Snookums, okay? <laughs> and it was this furry white cat, like a cat head. And, but like a normal like teddy bear arms and feet and stuff like that and had these cozy pajamas on so his name was Snookums and I thought that they were real I thought that they had real lives and that they could think and talk but I kind of had a suspicion that it wasn't real but I thought if it is like I need to know so I actually took my stuffed animal with me in the bathroom locked the door put the toilet seat down sat it on the toilet seat and stood there and yelled at it, telling me that I knew it was alive, or me telling it that I knew it was alive and that it better talk to me or I was never going to love him again. That also didn't work out the way I hoped it would. So I learned that lesson then, that day, in the bathroom. You mean like Snookums from uh, the Jersey Shore? <laughs> no, not, not quite. <laughs> Not quite the same. Actually, I still have Snookums. She's in a, a memory box in the basement. <laughs> and she still hasn't said anything. She She's still hasn't tell. said anything to me. <laughs> How depressing. Wow, you mean when you stuff something into a prison, it won't talk to you? <laughs> I also played with Snookums so much, I would like throw her in the air so she could do gymnastics. And her head came off a couple of times, and I learned how to sew by sewing her head back on. So it's slightly gruesome looking, but she still has a head. So wow. this whole dismemberment thing <laughs> happened really early. In wow, your so that goes back a lot farther than I realized, huh? <laughs> it's all Freudian slips. Remember, children, don't decapitate your dolls or they won't talk to you. <laughs> or they'll never talk to you again. And the lesson learned today is if you're in a party with Maiden and she starts killing, calling you Snookums, run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> run away. Oh my gosh, I must sound like a complete idiot. <laughs> no comment. I'm just now like thinking of hearing me say these things. <laughs> uh, no comment, oh, that's right, Zinger. Yeah. We can only hope no one's watching the stream anyways. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, Maiden. Nobody in here is judging you any more than they were already judging you. <laughs> right? At least I have that to go off of. I can't really do or say anything that will make things any worse for myself. I don't know where you are, Gantarian. You're at the Ford of Brunen. Twitter is... Ninth, I have to say, I appreciate very much that you're always on top of tweeting things out for me. Thank you. Oh, no problem. That's what I do. That's awesome. It's nice because most of the time I remember to tweet my own stuff and, you know, like all up, he never tweets when he's going live or anything. And it's nice because you're always on top of that. So just kind of, it helps. It helps out a lot. Yes, Death Man. Winnie the Pooh was real. I, I, I saw him last night and gave him a couple Snickers bars. <laughs> I'm hiding so I don't get called Snookums. <laughs> Can't turn. 
Wait, was it Snookums or Snoozums? I think it might have actually been Snoozums now that I think about it because it had pajamas on. It was Snoozums. I can't believe I messed that up. I would stick with Snookums. It doesn't make the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be accurate. <laughs> And it, when we first got it, I remember the day we bought it at Toys R Us. And, oh, I loved Snoozum so much. And he, she came, he, she, I don't know what it was, came in this, like, the box that it came in was shaped kind of like a bed for it to sleep in. And my dad accidentally left that cardboard box beds thing outside on the deck. And it rained, and I cried for, like, hours. All these childhood memories are coming out all of a sudden. This is, like, my therapy. Aren't you guys glad you're here? <laughs> it's okay, Maiden. By talking about your past, we can get past your past. <laughs> and we all want that, don't we? Oh. I still feel bad that all these years you've been keeping the wrong doll locked away in the in the basement. Oh, don't say that. That's horrible. That makes me feel so bad. It's not real. It's it's not alive, so it's okay. That's not the only thing she's got locked in her basement. <laughs> it's not the only person. I mean, a uh, thing I've locked in my basement. Actually, it's kind of cute because I have my childhood stuffed animal, and then. I also have my husband's childhood stuffed animal, and then each of our little toddler blankets we still have. So we have our stuffed animal and our little blankets, which is kind of adorable. And what was his childhood animal? It was just a teddy bear. Like, just a teddy bear. Not like the one in that creepy game I was playing, but I don't know what its name was. Yeah, I had a bear too when I was a kid, but it was called like Paddington Bear. I don't know if you've ever heard yes. of that. Yes. But... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what that was. It was like a it was a bear in a raincoat, basically. Yes, I've actually my mom actually has one of those that she like puts out at Christmas. I don't know why. That doesn't really make sense for a bear in a raincoat to be out at Christmas, but she does. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if I had anything, it would have been a uh, dinosaur, since I was one of those one of those kids. Oh yeah. I had um, oh, I'm trying to remember which one it was that came out, but we went to Universal Studios in California right around the time when I, maybe Jurassic Park Two came out, and so at Universal they had a lot of Jurassic Park, you know, like rides and theme type stuff. And uh, they sold these cool, like, raptor, like, the claws and the head of a raptor, like, the what those laminate things that, like, you put on your window so it looks like there's something in your window. And they had these cool raptor ones, and I bought, like, five of them and put them in all my windows. I thought it was so cool, because if someone walked by my bedroom door, or my bedroom window, that they would think that I had raptors in my bedroom. Yes. Nerd. I was, oh, yeah. Basically, my childhood could be wrapped up in Star Wars, Jurassic Park. Mm, that pretty much sums it up. I had two older brothers, so all the normal boyish, nerdy stuff was pretty much... Oh, dirt bike. I They taught me how to ride a dirt bike when I was, like, five years old by tying a rope on the end of the dirt bike so if I went too fast, they could yank me off of it. Like, that was how brutal it was. But I learned at a very young age, so I rode dirt bikes and, uh, like, tracks and stuff like that until I kind of stopped when I was, like, 17. I wish I wouldn't have stopped because it's awesome, but I was a total tomboy. Yes, but despite all of that, look at who you're hanging out with these days. Everything ended happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> happily ever after. Why is it saying I still have to do something? Oh, because I haven't done that yet. Wait, is that... Nope, that's not the same person. <laughs> Can't remember 
what you had when you were a kid, too many hits in the head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry, Calamity. From Jet, nobody gets hurt in here. This will let me go there. Let's try it. <laughs> Ganter, and I warn you, if you're gonna follow me around and be my fellowship, it's gonna be a little brutal. I will make wrong turns. I will get you killed, probably. I'll stop and randomly not move for five minutes as I'm telling a stupid story. Just so you know. She'll gather a whole bunch of mods and or mobs and then take off. <laughs> yep. I remember that time I did that to Jet, and I just hear him in Discord, I'm dying! And we're like, oh no! You oh. just killed me! <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm so sorry I did that to you. I'm that totally was like the closest to angry I ever heard him, and it was nowhere near angry. But right, for him, exactly. It was, like a, it was, it was more like, I can't believe you guys just freaking did that to me. He, yes. I have been very grateful, and the people who have helped me and played with me are all... Amazingly patient and not <laughs> upset at me. I remember when you invited all up to the party and he thought he was going to be on level with you and you <laughs> had your character. <laughs> it was, oh, that is, will always be one of my favorite memories. He had gone out and got a couple drinks after work, so when he had gotten on the stream, he Shocker. was feeling pretty, pretty jolly. And I'm playing on my capped level burglar, and I'm doing slayer deeds in the North Downs or Lonelands, and so I'm just catch I'm just Some, doing catching up on slayer deeds. So you know I'm not having any trouble killing stuff, but it's always nice to have other people help. So I'm like, oh, if someone wants to join, they can. So Alp's like, oh, I think I've got, I think I've got a character on Gladden. So he pops on, and he's like, what? You're you're a level cap, and he like freaks out. He's like, here I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get on here and help this chick, and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, basically the whole time we're just trying to save him and not let him die, and he was just the bait, is pretty much what happened. Oh, it was priceless. And then Zinger, you joined us, and you were just bouncing all around, like always. <laughs> But the best still has to be the Forsaken Inn and all the spikes and shit. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. I'm, I'm embarrassed about that. <laughs> but that was poor Jet. That was like the pinnacle of Jet having to deal with me. That was hysterical. He's like, don't move. Okay, run, run, run. Because <laughs> I and would the best not... is the chat trying to give you advice, but they're on a thirty-second delay, so exactly. it's already too damn late. Exactly. Didn't help. So I would try to focus, and then I would lose uh, lose focus, like usually happens, like normally happens. Wow, my English is so good tonight. Um, yeah, that was priceless. And then Jet was the one who got killed probably more than anyone because of that. Hmm. <laughs> and right now Ganaran's going, who the hell did I party with? <laughs> yeah, I hey, I warned him. <laughs> I'm sure people have questioned my sanity many times. Just remember, Maiden does not suffer from insanity. She enjoys every minute of it. Exactly. Oh yeah, I'll have to wait for Gantrian to come because these are... It is a fellowship quest, I think.
Ow, that hurt. Okay, Gantrian, you can help me with these when you get here. I'm going to grab a drink really quick. I will be back in just one second. Ninth, keep everyone entertained, okay? Uh, negative. I've got to get a drink, too. Oh my gosh. I'll be right back, everyone. It's all up to Zinger. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay, we're back. Sorry for the long break. Okay. Are you slapping me, Gantry? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Applauses for going AFK at a spawn point. That's true, that was stupid. Lord of the Rings. How has it aged? Is it still fun to play? It is super fun to play. Father Board. Um, there are still updates coming out. There's new content all the time. It is an amazing time to start playing or come back if you used to play. It's awesome. It's awesome. We are talking pro lotro player maiden here, Zinger. Duh. <laughs> ah, you guys are funny. <laughs> okay. I did grab something from the basement to show you guys in a little bit. <laughs> uh, too funny. <laughs> Welcome, Father Board. It's good to see you in here. Breakfast finally clammy. That sounds so good. I love breakfast food. Okay, Gantrain is not helping me. Oh, he's fighting his own spider. <laughs> yeah, you need to get some sleep, Clammy. Oh my gosh, I'm... How is this freaking spider... Oh my gosh. How embarrassing. Uh, he helped you when you went AFK at a spawn point. <laughs> Thanks, Singer. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Gantran. <laughs> let's uh let's heal up from that. That was kind of brutal. Ooh, what do I have? Hmm. 
<laughs> what would you like on your tombstone, Gantaran? Hi, Ty J. How's it going? Um, all right. Yeah, ouch, that hurt. Okay, you ready? Um, this inventory bag is, so you usually have a couple of them. You can basically click this settings button on them. And then you can actually click and drag the inventory lines all into one bag. And so then when you click and open inventory, it'll just be one big bag. So you can go and do that. And we're being attacked. And for the people in the chat, not in Wisconsin, bag means bag. Ugh. I thought I got away from people making fun of my accent because Olive's not in here. <laughs> did I, what did I say, bag? Bag. <laughs> bag, is that what I'm supposed to say? It's bag. all right, don't bother. Bag? <laughs> bag. Bag? It's all good. I was just making fun of you. It's all Bag. cool. <laughs> you could always say inventory. <laughs> and inventory slots are on sale this week. Yes, inventory and other storage is on sale this week. Everybody. something <laughs> Death man. what's this maiden I forgot hashtag <laughs> all up says that I said hash tag but I didn't <laughs> inventory is never big enough I agree Oh, it's not your fault father board it uh, you know move gets a little crazy when the message yeah. gets a little long <laughs> yeah, listen to Death Man. Moobot is a hater. Yep. Uh, I can take both of these. All right, basically, Father Board, if you sub, if you're VIP, you get all of the stuff except the expansions. There's two sets of expansions. There's Helm's Deep, and then there's what's called the Quad Pack, which is four expansions. You'd need both of those to get those content, and you need that even if you are sub. But subbing means you don't have to buy any of the adventure packs or anything like that. Thank you, Nye. It almost sounds like I know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Totally sounds like you know what you're talking about. Which is good. One of us needs to. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. Cantoran, I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> and and so this is close to the holidays. I would not buy either of the X packs yet, uh, the expansion packs, because there will almost certainly be a holiday sale. I'm very sorry, Cantoran. I warned you. I told you that you would die, and it has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, Father Board, you'll have to buy the two sets of X packs, the Quad Pack and the um, and Helm's Deep. And right now they're both like forty dollars each. But if you wait, you can usually get them when they're on sale, at least half off, if not seventy-five percent off. Okay, you guys ready? Ninth, I went and got snoozums out of the, the basement. <laughs> you ready to see snoozums? Sure. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> Father Board, it's like Deathman says, there will probably be a Black Friday sale or some sale this holiday that has them 75, 80% <laughs> off. It's snoozums, so cute. <laughs> Maiden, why'd you keep me locked in here so long? <laughs> Let me out 
to the basement. She tortures me. <laughs> oh. Okay, Gantran's gonna grab his champ. Yeah, these spiders are pretty savage. Yes, Partying thank you. with you is pretty savage. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the explanation, Knight. Of um, to Fatherboard, thanks for that. Um, yeah, Black Friday sale. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Okay, let me do Lotro Team. Is that the same? Dang it. Did Elda change the the commands again? Um, yeah, like do, the stream team or something. No, do, do the days of the week and it shows each person for that day. Wait, what? Because it was getting too long to do one big long so, thing. So... Do like exclamation point Tuesday. Oh, wow. That's cool. <gasps> That is awesome. She rocks. Yeah, because it was getting really long. Yeah, I think that his, there was a limit at one point. so she had Okay, to that's kind of cool because then you can be like, okay, here are the people who are on tomorrow, you know, and kind of do that. Super cool. I like that. And then, like, if you want to link everyone to the Roger team page, I think it's, like, I mentioned, like, Gandalf or something. Okay. Hi, horse spirit. <laughs> wow, that like seriously just did nothing. I'm getting a phone call. One second. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Are you done with your meeting already? Oh, that's true. I guess I was thinking it would go later. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Um, if you're going to get them yourself, then yes. But if not, then don't worry about it. Because I'm going to be streaming yet for a bit, so. That's all you've eaten today? Oh my gosh. I know the mic isn't muted. What? <laughs> well, just get some. Um, I mean, we can always eat leftovers tomorrow. So you could get a large. Sound good? And if you want to get fries, I'm okay with that, too. That also would be easy for me to eat on stream. Wings, not so much. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Love you. Bye. I know I didn't mute the mic. Yeah, wings will give her gas. <laughs> Actually, have him get two things of fries. Uh, Big Ed's in your closet. He's getting hungry. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for him. He worked at 8.30 this morning, 8.30 to 7, and then had a work meeting, and he just got out. That's a freaking long day. So he's like, I'm so hungry. So I told him that he could get wings and that he could get me some, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
How are you doing tonight, horse spirit? You need three things of fries. Don't forget horse snookums. It's snoozums. I forgot it's snoozums. Not that you guys really care at all, but hey. Yes, Snook is still locked away in the basement. <laughs> Is this? Oh my gosh. Gantran, I totally thought this was you, and it's not. It's some other person. Is this someone in chat, or is this some random person who just came along? <laughs> Sorry, Gantran. I'll kill you and then get credit with someone else. <laughs> Do you have this? Hmm. Waking up is difficult. Tell me about it. I am not a morning person. <laughs> trying to sleep also. Well, Ty J, if you're watching me and trying to sleep, that's not going to work very well. Oh, but you have deeds too. Okay, well, I completed the spider one, so I guess I'll just move on and you can join me. If you want to. No pressure. I never ask anyone to help me, just so you guys understand. It's of their own agreement. Oh, shoot. I am supposed to do more of the spiders. Dang it. Except for any one of those dozens of times I've heard you ask for people to help you. <laughs> oh, I have? <laughs> no, I don't. Do I? Yes. Oh. I mean, it's not like a command, but you ask, does anybody want to run this with me? I need some help with this, you know. I think it's more like, hey, if anyone wants to join me, not like, help me, help me. <laughs> help me, Objet, you're my only hope. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> help me, Objet. That's, that is fantastic. <laughs> I think you may have been more right the first time, technical. <laughs> I thought that's what it was supposed to say. <laughs> I thought you meant you wanted to be a part of my pun videos that I do. <laughs> I thought that latest one was pretty good. The bat, I like that. One. That that was only good because you guys gave me some good ideas. I couldn't I couldn't think of any. The only thing I could think of was, um, well, I thought of one, but it was not very funny. And then it was you and Zinger gave me an idea. I don't think I ended up using his because I couldn't work it in in time because you seriously have like ten seconds to be able to do the whole thing. Um, yeah, you can't then, go long on this. Was it? Oh, shoot, I can't remember who else helped me. It could have been... Oh, it was Lord Zabu. Pretty sure. You guys came up with those cool ideas. I liked it. That It was really funny. And Mort appreciated the two puns, too. <laughs> he mentioned that. Yeah, I just saw you in chat with that. I'm like, wait a minute, you need bat puns? I can give you bat puns. Yeah, I was like, I know these people can give me some really good puns. I just couldn't think of anything. And I wanted to get it done, and I didn't want to take a lot of time to do it. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I have to do it like seven times because Mort has to be talking. Zinger's like, why don't you just like re like do it where he's already talking? Like, you know, it'd be easier that way. Dang it, you freaking spider. <gasps> My phone just buzzed. 
Oh, hey. I'm invisible and you can still see me somehow. That makes no sense. No! Oh, that was so close. Uh. <laughs> well, I wonder if these would be any easier. Yeah, probably not. I'm guessing the trolls will not be any easier than the spiders. Let's see, do I need any of this? Nope, 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 nope. So there was a fairly new Lotro streamer on tonight. Oh, what was the username? Uh, it was kind of funny, it was Mini Van Helsing. <gasps> That's funny. Oh yes, I actually, so too. I didn't get to watch, I saw that he was on, but I was doing something, so I didn't get to watch. How is he? Did he just start playing Lotro or just started streaming? Yeah, it looks like he just started playing it because he had a lot of questions about it. Elda was helping him out. Oh, cool. Well, that's fun. It's always good to see new streamers. It is. All the girls were gawking over him. <laughs> really? Why was he super smooth? Maybe. <laughs> Deathman says he's a cool guy. I saw him do his first stream last week. Well, cool. I'll have to make sure I give him a follow and join in on one of his streams and welcome him. His girlfriend does a digital art stream. Oh, that's awesome. I like watching. I love going to the creative channel and seeing stuff like that that's super cool yeah i love going into the creative channels and realizing how uncreative i, am. I know it's depressing isn't it yeah i will i will go into the creative channel and be like there has to be something i could do that's cool like this and then i look and look and look like for different ideas and i'm just like nope <laughs> can't do any of that <laughs> Gantarin, I feel bad. I would I would proceed with the spiders, but they're just kicking my butt too bad, so I'm waiting for you. 7 a.m. till 2.30 a.m. pretty much every day. Holy moly, Gantarin, that's crazy. What time does everyone usually go to bed? How late do you stay up night? Oh, that sounds cool, Clamy. Let's see. Let's do Wednesday. Sweet. Okay. Here's the schedule for tomorrow. So we have Andrew All-Stars, Olip, and then Elda. So be sure tomorrow you check those ones out. Follow all those people. Wait, does this mean that Olaf's going to have to actually be able to spell Wednesday correctly? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, I know what I forgot to change. The command of the current streamer, which is me. And it says Mort's name, I think. Oh, no, it actually says Grizzly Wookie, so Mort didn't even change it. That's funny. Maven of Rohan. You mean the command I reminded you about? Huh? 
the command that I reminded you to change before the stream? Oh yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought I thought you meant the um like the title that I have to change in Mubot to change the Lotro stream title. So in my mind I was saying, yeah, I've already done that. There you go. <laughs> there is my personal channel, you guys. If you want to give me a follow, that would be awesome. But for sure, be sure that you follow the Lotra stream, which is up here that way. The little heart. <laughs> Click that. Follow the Lotra stream so you can watch all the awesome streamers on. Professional streamer in 2016. Yeah, definitely checkmate it out for that pro Lotro play. <laughs> Ninth, they asked you a question a while ago. <clears throat> Who asked me a question? I did. I asked you Why how late you, you usually stay up. Well, it depends on the day. Um, when did you ask this? I totally didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You didn't respond. <laughs> I don't know. It was a couple minutes ago. I don't know, usually I'm in bed by 12 or 1, Eastern. Mm -hmm. Deathman says, unfollow Maiden and follow all up. Hey, Deathman. Don't unfollow me, just follow all up. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do. Oh, cool, and even says what they're playing currently. That's sweet. Be sure to follow Alapena. He mostly streams Lotro with a couple different other games. Be sure to give him a follow because, you know... We we've gotta we've gotta we've gotta make him think that we like him and stuff like that. <laughs> and try not to dismember either of them. <laughs> and besides, most of y'all can't unfollow Maiden because you're on a damn ba uh, bandana. Once you've been <laughs> captured permanently, you're not allowed to unfollow. <laughs> That's true. If you unfollow me, it will screw everything up. Ah. Oh! That's so true. Hey, Lexicon. Speaking of, where is that? Here it is. Ugh. I wore it the other day. I wasn't going to wear it until my stream, but it's really cool. I'll actually unfold it and show it to you guys later, but. First 300 followers. And actually, I'm want to say it's it was the actual first like 304 or 305 followers who made it on the bandana because there were a couple um troll accounts that followed me and i did not put those on but yeah it turned out really cool i'm excited about it and it's cute i actually it's something i'll actually wear which is kind of what i wanted to go for here i'll show you guys this took me about six hours to make. I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy. Look at, do you see how many freaking, I'm like, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. My husband's like, um, yeah, it's 300 names. I'm like, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. Look at how many names. Dun, dun, dun. So many names. pretty cool it turned out neat I'm very happy with it but I definitely can't do this for 500 followers <laughs> I definitely got high off of the markers so yeah that's not gonna happen we're all gonna get sweaty what zinger what are you talking about because we're on the bandana and you're wearing the bandana oh. <laughs> sweating into it <laughs> Okay, good. That went right over my head. Good thing I have Zinger and Ninth in here to make fun of me and then explain the joke. <laughs> oh, logic. <laughs> Upload a high-res version for us to find. Yeah, I will have to take a picture. It, it would take a while for me to be able to pick your guys' names out. But it was kind of cool to go through the followers and see, like, oh my gosh, people who, like, I know really well now or I'm good friends with. 
that were like some of my first followers, which is really cool. Yeah, it was a blast for me to read the names on it because I know like a ton of those people. I know. You know, it's really cool to see that. It's like, oh my gosh, we know who everyone is. Um, ninth, you were my, one, two, three. The six, my sixth follower ninth. <laughs> That's awesome. Singer. Yeah, I was an early adopter. Now, um, Deathman did beat me by like a name or two. Yep, he was right before you. Deathman, you were fifth. Um, I don't think anyone in here is in the first. Chromite was like 10th, and then there's Big Ed and all up. There's Zinger. Zinger, you're like 20, 20th or so. But yeah, it is cool. It's cool to see everyone's name. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh. All up's not in here. So, I ordered this <laughs> wig in the mail. <laughs> Since he gets to wear my red wig to impersonate me on our stream, I ordered it. Oh, who is that? Targ, thank you so much for the follow. I just realized I accidentally had the alerts covered up. There we go. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Ooh, just in time. So yeah, there's the cool bandana. Woot woot. Yay. <laughs> That was, let's see, when did I start? I want to say it was June. Actually, I feel like I remember writing your name, Lexicon. I could totally be wrong, but I feel like I remember writing your name. See you, Claimy. Sorry I missed your goodbye. <laughs> Yes, you guys are permanently on this bandana now. There's no escaping being my follower. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like your uh, first 300 followers, basically. Your first three streams. Hold on, say that one more time. I gotta turn you up because you're quiet. Okay, say that again. Was it your first 300 No, don't. <laughs> Say it. I want to know what you said. No, I was just saying. Um, didn't you have like 300 followers like within your first couple streams, basically? <laughs> no, that's an exaggeration. Um, you were one of the fastest growing Lotro Twitch streamers at same part time. I was in the beginning for sure, but I attribute that to the fact that the Lotro community is so tight knit. You know, so if a new person starts streaming Lotro, like, everybody is going to hear about it pretty quickly and be extremely supportive, which I love about the Lotro community. So I attribute it just because of you guys, <laughs> you guys being awesome that I had so many followers, but it's been awesome. <laughs> David, you're right. We keep picking on the same poor spider. Oops. You also seem to get a fair number of trolls pr pretty early on, if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, early on, I've been extremely fortunate that lately I haven't had a problem. Um, early on, it was pretty bad. Thankfully, Elda was there, Mama Bear, to protect me very early on. So that was a great help. Don't die! Run away! <laughs> Run away, Kendra! <laughs> Don't die! I'm trying to... <laughs> Run away! Run away! See, that's the good thing about the Lotus stream. Lotus streamer is a mod and there's usually four or five of them in there, you know? It's so true. Trolls don't last long in this gym. No, not at all. I remember I made all up a mod in my channel and he sends me a message. He's like, uh, do you, did you, do you know that you made me a mod? 
to your channel? I'm like, yes, I did it on purpose. He's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he thought it was an accident, which is funny. <laughs> Hi, Dyfid, how's it going? Well, no, that's appropriate because I think you mod the Knowledge Channel, don't you? <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a mod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you are too. I even got him to make me a mod in his Discord. I told him if he made me a mod, I'd make him one in my Discord, but I lied and I didn't do that. <laughs> good, Dyfid. I'm glad you're doing well. It's good to see you tonight. I just, wow, this is really embarrassing. Somehow my surprise strike got moved to where I usually have my cunning attack. So I couldn't figure out why my critical initial hit was so low. It's because I wasn't hitting the right skill. Wow. First world problems. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this should be a little easier now. Gosh. <laughs> all right, viewers, all of this can be avoided by simply locking your bars. Yes, which is a good idea. <laughs> it really is. Come join Maiden on the Lotro stream, learning how not to play Lotro. And on this game, it isn't that bad, but on, like, Tour, if you don't have your bars locked, things are going to go all over the place. All over the place, yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you know what? I was just thinking, Nyth. I think, like, one of my first raffles I ever did you won or something like that. Does that ring a bell? Vaguely. Was it, like, a TP code or something? Or uh, All I remember, I was on Steam the other day, and it was showing gifts that I had sent to people. And your name was on. And I was like, oh, that must have been, like, really early on. Because I don't even recall, you know, like being able to connect your name with that, so it must have been very early. I think it was, it might have been a termite point code. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I think it was like a Steam game or something. It was one of the giveaways. Probably. Okay, trolls. Do we really already get the spiders? Oh, Deathman remembers that you did. Are you doing the Trollshaw Fellowship Spider Quest? Yes, we are. <laughs> Barely. What is the blue? What is it still? The Deadly Broods. Oh, no, yeah, I still need Spider Fangs. Okay. We need to go up farther for that. Ooh, Death's Keeper! Yes, we're on Brandywine tonight. <laughs> it's good to see you. Okay, so apparently the ones we need are up farther, so... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> yes, we're on Brandywine. And if you are not on Brandywine, you should immediately create a burglar and <laughs> join the sort of 40 Thieves. Right now. Yes, for anyone who is looking to start a new character or be on a different server or anything like that, we have our 40 Thieves kinship of burglar hobbits. Humans are allowed, but they'll be made fun of slightly. Um, I think we have close to 60 people in the kinship now, so anyone is 
welcome to join. And I am not on currently, but if anybody needs an invite, I'll hop on. Sounds good. Whew, that was close. Sounds good, Titanus. Thank you. Gonna hop on his cappy. <laughs> Deathman says he made a warden on Brandy in case he ever runs across Maiden so he might live. <laughs> ha ha. How hard is Burglar? Um, it's... I wouldn't classify it as hard. It's just different. But it's the first class I ever played, so to me it's normal. I don't know. Ninth, would you classify it as a difficult a difficulty rating? It's not so much that it's hard, it's that you gotta pay attention to what you're doing. Like There's, with yeah. a lore master or something you can kinda go on autopilot for a while. You can't do that with a burglar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like Death Keeper is saying. You, you need to pay attention. Holy moly, that scared me. That spider just came down from that tree. It frightened me. <laughs> choices, choices. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, Ted, and if you are rolling a bird for this, uh, once you, we do need you to get out of the intro first because otherwise we yes. can't invite you to the guild yet. Yep. And that's not us being snotty, that's just the game <laughs> mechanic. That's just the way it is. It's not like we're testing you or something. Let's see if this guy can get out of the end. <laughs> <sighs> However, if I can get out of the intro, anybody can. <laughs> But I think you must also uh, drink from the house keg and yep. uh, uh, fish and burgle. Yes, that is true. Those are also prerequisites. <laughs> this is funny. Ooh. Oof. Ninth, I still have that list of restaurants um, that we're going to go to when we go to Florida. I'm super excited. Oh, cool. You're, you're coming in like February or something, yep. aren't you? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Mostly for food, which is not surprising, I suppose, but 
We don't have a lot of gray things in our area, so I'm excited to eat some some new stuff, try different things, good quality food. That's the best yeah, part about vacation, right? <laughs> yeah, and I, I tried to give you restaurants that were near Universal, so you wouldn't have to go too far from Thank you. you. Yes, Death's Keeper. Oh, speaking of food, somebody just tweeted a picture of like, it looks like beef and vegetables on rice, you know, like Chinese. Ooh. Oh, it looks delicious. That sounds extremely good right now. Mmm. <laughs> food. Oh, it was Cable Knit Dragon that tweeted it, but yeah. It oh, does look yes, I did see that. Oh, that's cool, Lexicon. Yeah, quite a few people from the Lotro community are in Florida. I know Aerther and his wife live there. Ninth. Who else? Someone else is from Florida, too. Well, Lexicon. Another person, though, as well. Ooh, Deathman. You had roast lamb for dinner? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, Gantran, you're from New Zealand like death. That's right. I have to remember that. Someday I will go to New Zealand. Might be a while, but I'll be there someday. Can I wait? Is this guy going to turn around or is he going to come all the way down here? Sure, why not? Let's take him out. Okay, sounds good. Bye, Death's Keeper. Thanks for stopping by. Texas. Oh, Death's is from Texas. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we'll see ya. See, that would be a kind of cool thing to do. Like, the followers of you, the uh, viewers that wanted to volunteer where they lived, like, put little pins in a map or something. I bet we're all over the damn place. Yeah, I'm sure. That would actually be cool. Another idea I had, and actually Zinger gave me this idea, um, was when it was his birthday. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I would really like to, of course, only if people wanted to tell me, but if my followers told me when their birthday was, I could keep a master calendar. And I would love to do, like, birthday wishes and stuff like that for people on their birthdays. So I thought of that, too. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of a neat idea, too. Yeah, it's just something a little different and a little personal. And I could even make it like a Mubot thing so I don't have to talk about it a lot, but people could see it in chat. It could be like, you know, want a personal message from Maiden for a birthday wish or, or a, you know, a video or a tweet or something like for your birthday. And then... Just send me a message with your birthday. Ooh, technicals for Maine. Very nice. Oh, he put his birthday. Yeah, if anyone wants to send me their birthday, I will seriously make a calendar. Be sweet. I don't want them videos, says Deathman. Why not? <laughs> Zinger liked his birthday video. Right, Zinger? True that. <laughs> I'll have to be a little more creative in what I do, though, if I start doing more of them. But what are you going to do if one day they uh, close down Snapchat? I will just have to be myself, I guess. <laughs> Not be a weird animal filter or something like that. 
I'll have to be more creative. Okay, you guys are supposed to send me those to me in a whisper because I'm not going to be able to remember them from chat. Can you guys whisper your birthdays to me? Those of you who put them in chat. Please? And along with your birthdays, please send your uh, social security yes, number and <laughs> card number. And your mother's maiden name and... <laughs> I also made a new, um, and I should have spell checked it a little more closely than I did, but I made a new, um, like, offline screen on my personal channel. You know, like, when you go to the channel and it's offline, how there's usually a picture there or something. I did kind of like my logo, and then I did like a cool poem, which I actually, I like how it looks. I should read through it one more time to make sure it actually sounds correctly and that everything is spelled correctly as well. A poem? There was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> no, a poem I wrote myself. Swiss bank account number. <laughs> did, did you say make sure it sounds correctly? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> that goes well. That's ironic. <laughs> no, ironic means you don't expect it to happen. That was totally and completely <laughs> predictable. <laughs> you know, I said that and I was thinking, I wonder if anyone caught that. And I was like, nah, I don't think so. But, well, Zinger's there. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Deathman just brought up a really good point. You want to whisper it to Maiden, not to, <gasps> Yes, uh, yes, Lester yes. I do. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that is a really good point. So, here is my link. So, go to my page and then make sure that you whisper Maiden of Rohan, not Locho Street. <laughs> Or else Cordovan's going to be like, uh, why are people sending random dates to me? Actually, what you should do is also whisper it to Cordovan your birthday and say that Maiden promised you'd get a TP code on your birthday. <laughs> no, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> he'll kick me off the team. Yeah, you'll definitely need to check your uh, offline image for spell lane. <laughs> I don't remember which way we came. Hold on, I have to cough. Whoops. Dang it. Sorry, Gantaran. I was coughing. I didn't realize I was running by all of these freaking spiders. I mean, unless you meant to type in chiar instead of chair. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, whisper me the corrections and I'll make them because I won't remember them right now. Did I wrote TR? Uh, yeah. <laughs> did I also just say, did I wrote TR? <laughs> did no, I say I with, wrote or write? Should I whisper them to you or to Cordovan? I'm glad you turned your head to cough. Yes, that was a good thing. I'm sorry, Gantaran. Oh, that's okay. Okay, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna die. I'm now, gonna die. in her defense, chair is a really hard word to spell. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay, so how to send a whisper. So, um, when you're on Twitch, in the lower right-hand corner of your page is kind of a little, like, conversation icon box that is purple. Click on that and type in my name, and when that pops up, click on it and send it. I hope that helps. I hope that was a good description. <clears throat> but you're his main promo maiden. He can't kick you. Well, with these guys in my chat, including all up and Big Ed at times, if I have gotten kicked by now, then I think I'm safe. 
That button doesn't work. You can always do forward slash W and then type Maiden and Rohan, and that'll send her a message too. Oh, it will? Yeah, what, what Technical 13 just put in the chat, that's how you would do it. Oh, sweet. I did not realize you could do that. That's awesome. Okay, are these things I'm looking for not up here? Because I am not seeing them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Cordovan watches your your streams and <laughs> wants to kick you. I think he watches your streams and wants to give you Ritalin, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's... Uh, he popped in for a couple minutes the other night and... Uh, Hey. Hold on, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm not killing this person. Titan, Titaness, thank you so much for the follow. So my husband literally is serving me french fries right now. <laughs> thank you, honey. Ah. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, they're hot. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> oh, those look pretty good. They are good. They're so yummy. I'm sorry I'm eating. I feel bad. I usually try not to eat on stream because it makes other people hungry and it's kind of weird. That sounds weird. Well, they have a they have a, on the creative channel. They have a social eating. Yeah. Just to make you a little more jealous. You want Why isn't he wearing his pink hair? What? Why isn't he wearing his pink hair? <laughs> Shaved it. Here, I'll just take a couple of these and then you can take the rest. I'll be done soon. Thank you. Just save me a few extra of those. <laughs> hey, Mr. Maiden. Deathman says hi. Hey, Deathman. I've heard your man name for many months. Yep. He was one of my first followers. And he's from New Zealand, which is super oh. awesome. He can eat French fries too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. Maiden. Sorry for all the Santa Claus comments. <laughs> they think you're Santa Claus because I said that you're really busy during December. Uh. That's Ninth Pawn. And then Zinger's in here too. Say hi, Zinger. Hi, Zinger. Oh, there's a Cubs game on right now. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Technical says, beware, Mr. Maiden. She farts? Question <laughs> mark. Have a good night, Technical. Never. You said never, which is a lie. <laughs> but only if you bring cookies in. <laughs> <laughs> only if they're worth farting for. Hey, Chromite. Nice. Husband bringing some fries for his lady. Yep. I packed them all up. <laughs> He's like, did someone steal my board game collection? Because they're all out of the closet, but it's because I packed them up. And you even posted it on Twitter, so I know it's true. Yep. He doesn't even know the, like, the picture of him with the wig. I don't think he even knew I put that up. Well, I'm like, I packed a whole box, and I was like, dang, I have to pack two more boxes to fit all these. Well, oh, my, you mean Mr. Up? Maiden doesn't realize he has his own Twitter page now as uh, <laughs> Mr. Woods and I? <laughs> I also love that you guys call him Mr. Maiden, because that's really funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, in all seriousness, what would you like us to call him? Because I'm not trying to make. Do you want them to call you anything else other than Mr. Maiden? <laughs> he actually has a Twitch account, which he has streamed like one time, and it's it's the Fluff O Five. Is that right? Yeah. The Fluff O Five, and that has been his nickname since high school. Is the Fluff or Fluffy, <laughs> which is hilarious. Why? Where did you get that name from, Tori? Because. <laughs> <laughs> so you can call him Mr. Maiden or Fluff <laughs> if you want. No, that's weird. <laughs> Don't call him that. Not the same ring as Mr. Maiden. I agree. I think Mr. Maiden is funny. Senior farts. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear about my cat. What happened to my cat? Did I like how Z Zinger puts the M with the uh, symbol over it. It's yeah. that little attention to details. <laughs> <laughs> Copy paste to Reno. <laughs> That's funny. I, I actually asked him if he would stream that Vanishing of Agent Carter game, like, with me. Like, we would both sit here and play it. Because it's not quite as scary as that one, but it's still a little suspenseful. So I think it'd be a fun thing for us to do together. <gasps> oh, sorry, Chromite. I was like, what did I miss? Because I somehow missed... Nursing my feral cat. Poor thing has been rubbing around her eye socket and it's so swollen. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor kitty. Oh, that's sad. Dyfid saw an article online that a woman in Tokyo farted while undergoing surgery that included a laser. The laser ignited the gas and she was badly burnt. I'm sorry, I should not laugh at that. <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at that, you're just not crying <gasps> oh hard gosh. enough. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> That's awful and hilarious. It sounds a lot like a story from like National Enquirer or something. Did you hear what I just said? Or like one of those urban legends, like I heard about a friend who had a friend that, you know. Right? Yeah. Gantaran, if we are going the wrong way, you still need, you're working on Slayer stuff, right? So it shows that we're in the correct area, but it's, I'm not seeing any of the things that I need. So whatever, we'll just kill some spiders. There's an Agent Carter game. Oops, wait, no. The Vanishing of, what is it called? What's that game ninth? Ethan Carter. <laughs> Did I say Agent Carter? <laughs> the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? Seven here says, <laughs> "What singer?" I was gonna say you'd probably have a good stream without us. <laughs> no. You guys make it way more fun. Ah, there we go. Oops. Wait, why is your hair orange and not red? I like red. <laughs> My hair's always been this color. I didn't change it, Seven Hero. And I just posted the Steam link to it if anybody wants to check out the game. Oh, thank you. Yes, and I've seen Gussie and Stina both stream it, and the graphics are amazingly beautiful. And it's suspenseful and mystery and all that good stuff so and i think it's on sale as well i think it's like three dollars ish right now so eventually i'll be streaming that 
And don't forget your freebie, steal free, steal free key. <laughs> steal key. <laughs> Words are hard. No, it's not on sale on Steam right now, but it may go back on sale. Oh, it's, it's not? Full price. Oh, it was. I think it maybe ended. Yeah, there was a Halloween sale or something where ah. a lot of those games are on sale, yes. but they, they ended. We'll throw it in your wish list so you can be notified. Yes, yesterday it was red. Oh, you're right. Yes, when I had my wig on, my hair was very bright red. That was crazy. Although, I will say, I mean, it was really fun to dress up, but that thing, it, it, it's very tight on your head when you fasten it, and I definitely had a headache at the end of the night. It felt good to take my fake hair off. <laughs> the vanishing of Maiden's reputation is the story of this weekly stream. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I can't move. TV news station, so it's a legit story. Yes, you can post links, Stifid. <laughs> okay, I got messages from three people with birthdays. Anyone else want to whisper me or message me your birthday so that I can send you a special message or a tweet or something? I don't know. I'll do something special and fun. Or any other creepy information you want to give me. Yep, anything else, you know, you can put that in there. May or may not use it. But if anybody does want that Vanishing of Ethan Carter game, I just checked on Cheap Shark, and it is on sale on GOG and on Amazon for three ninety nine. Nice. Thanks, Ninth. You're just so helpful tonight. Look at you. I can tease and help at the same time. I'm, <laughs> I can multitask. It's very nice. <gasps> does Seven Hero, are you serious? Today is your birthday? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dyphid, you were dressed up as the 11th doctor. That's awesome. You should post a picture. If any of y'all dressed up and didn't post a picture, you need to do that. Every day is my birthday. Okay, then you lied. It's not your birthday. Well, it's, uh, it's like Alice in Wonderland. Today's his unbirthday. <gasps> Must have been a tough pregnancy. Your, your costume was trash, why? Or do you mean literally trash? <laughs> like you were a trash can? Or it looked terrible, what do you mean? Only when there's something to get. There we go, Horse Spirit sent me a birthday, awesome. Let's see. Horse Spirit sent me a birthday, technical, diphid. That's all so far. If anyone wants to send me their birthday who is not of those people I listed, please send. It was just bad. Oh, That's sad. You know, if you get like a couple hundred birthdays, you're going to wish you hadn't done this. I know, that's true. But it's fun. It's something that's fun. You're right, though. If I ever get a, a, a quite a larger follower amount, be doing them every single day you need a stream assistant is what you need oh are you offering uh no i'm not doing your birthday wish <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine hey happy birthday for maiden the end <laughs> Technical, what was your Halloween costume? Did you dress up? <laughs> I 
Okay, well, I told Zinger if I ever get, like, somehow super um, uh, famous on Twitch, like, that's ever going to happen. But I will hire Zinger as my Photoshop graphics person, and ninth, you can be my community manager. <laughs> Sound good? Because I am such a people person. I know! You would be the perfect fit for it. <laughs> It'd be so perfect. And I'll pay you guys in thank yous. <laughs> and maybe some money once in a while. What so line for say I will say one of the funnier birthday cards I ever got was on like a torn up piece of cardboard and it said, I am broke, times are hard, here's your effing birthday card. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, no, Deathman, it's not, it's not my birthday. <laughs> Everyone tweet happy birthday tonight. <laughs> no, it is not my birthday and no, I am not streaming Peggle after this. <laughs> I'm really tempted to tweet out happy birthday and make everyone say happy birthday to you. Um, what line for Berg? Personally, I like red line if you're going for DPS and damage, but there are quite a few people who really like yellow line as well and blue. So, hmm. what's your thoughts on that ninth? What do you prefer? I like blue, but I have run in red and I do like red as well. Mm -hmm. Yellow, I do not have any experience with. So if you're looking for strictly damage, just, you know, go red. But I know a lot of people say that yellow is fun because of all the different things you can do. But I have never ran yellow personally. Yeah, I've run mainly red and blue. Technical, you have seven Twitter accounts? My word. I don't even have a Twitter for my personal, like me. And I hate stealthing, so it's probably not the class for you. If you don't like stealth, then it's probably not the class for you, because that's how you're gonna get your critical. How you're gonna get your best damage? <gasps> you, Ooh, go ahead. If you don't like critical, then uh, or stealth, then uh, Shadow of Mordor probably isn't for you either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's look at this picture of Dyfid. Who was playing Shadow of Mordor the other day? Was um, that Olip? Yeah, Olip did. He was pretty decent at it. Yeah, better than me. I got my ass kicked, but I can. Yeah, me too. Dyfid, that is an awesome picture. I love it. Sweet. Love it. Technical has his, your cat and your two dogs have a Twitter page and then DDO Wiki, Church, and another. Holy moly, that's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, Shadows of Mordor is a really cool game. You just, oh, it's so cool. And you feel awesome when you play it. You're like, I'm so awesome. That's a, like exactly what you say to yourself when you play it. That's not what I say when I play <laughs> it. I say there isn't an orc anywhere that can't kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, with these um, birthdays that you guys sent me, I'm seriously, I have my my Gmail account for my. Made of Rohan, so I will make a calendar and put your usernames in with the dates, and we'll make it happen. And I'll try to remember to add that to Moobot too, so people know that they can give me the birthdays. The sound when I stab this flesh gnar egg sack is absolutely disgusting, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Death Man.
<laughs> well, I'll admit when I'm not good at a game. I mean, Shadows of Mordor was just a disaster. Uh, Terra, it, it took me multiple tries to get out of the intro. So. <laughs> <laughs> what other games do you like to play, Ninth? Well, I really like uh, uh, Swotor. I really like okay. that, in yep. addition to Lotro. And I like some of the uh, like the action RPGs, like the uh, Diablo-type games, but yeah. I prefer like Grim Dawn and, um, you know, Path of Exile. Yep. I, I like those a lot. Cool. I've been meaning to stream my um, Jedi Knight um, Jedi Academy again. I streamed that for a little bit. And I really enjoyed that game. I just had kind of gotten away from that, so I think I'm going to try to finish the game out. Yeah, that was a cool game. Have you ever played the, the KOTOR games? Those are pretty cool, too. I have not. Oh, gosh, I died. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Mm. Yeah, Path of Exile is really good. I, I enjoy that game a lot. Gamer Grant plays that a lot, doesn't he? Is yeah, that the game? He, yeah, he actually plays it well. I, I don't play it anywhere near his He's level. really into that. He, that's his... I've only ever seen him stream that in Lotro, probably, almost evenly. Are you reviving here, Gantarian, or are you retreating? I might... Yeah, if you have questions about the game and he is streaming it, he knows a lot about Pat. Oh, see? Himself. That's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Way too many abbreviations, by the way. That's funny. Alright, I've got them all figured out except JK. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I used to play Jedi Knight. I think the game's oh, I was Oh, Jedi Knight. About. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I get it now. At first I thought he was saying JK, and I was like, wait, no, he's talking about a game or something. Oops. Yeah, Star Wars Galaxies is pretty cool. Me and Olaf went recently back to the game, and it, it was kind of neat, but it was kind of old, too. <laughs> yeah. I, lo I love those games that, no matter how old they get, like, there's still an element of nostalgia to, and you still enjoy it, regardless of <laughs> how old it may be. But it's always fun to come back to. Kind of like that Lotro game, huh? <laughs> Yeah, my roommate cleaned out like a, you know, storage facility or whatever that she had, and there was like a Super Nintendo in there. Oh so my we were gosh. having a blast playing, playing like Super Mario oh, World. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Uh, I think I've got our, our Sega, Sega Genesis downstairs. I'll pull that out once in a while and play it. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in this maze of a castle. Here I'm trying to get back up there and I'm just bumming around. Yeah, I used to like the Sega Genesis. There were some cool games on there. There's this one game where you could play as a dolphin. I think it was called like Echo or something. It was kind of cool. Really? Yep. That's funny. I had never heard of that one. <gasps> yes, LucasArts fan X-Wing. Yeah, I, I agree with Broatmeat. I, I miss Star Wars Galaxies as well. That hey, Broatmeal. Aw, uh, okay, that's fine, Gantarian. I'm pretty much going to be done, too. I was just trying to get back up to that point. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Thank you. I, I technically only killed you once. That one time we both died, so I'm not going to count that one. But thank you. I'll at least get back to this starter position. Can you look and see who else is streaming um, Lotro right now, Knight? Sure, just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm certainly not going to look for you. What? 
For what? I couldn't hear you. Speak uh, up. There's one person I don't recognize, Supersmith, but there's also Bloodborne and Andrew Allstars. They're both on right now. Okay. Who's the person you don't recognize? Supersmith? Hmm. All right, who should we raid? It's up to you guys. I almost think we should raid the person I don't know just because they'd have the least viewers, you know? And yeah, it would be, okay, I'm gonna pull that up. Can you um, post their link? <gasps> Rogue yes, leader. one moment. Yep. Gussie's on. Oh, she's streaming The Sims. I think we are supposed to, for the l official stream, I think we are supposed to um, raid people who are playing Lotro, preferably. Yeah, let's do it though. Okay, so don't, so go ahead and open the page so that the commercial can pass if you guys don't have Prime or anything. So I gotta open it. And then, <clears throat> Hmm. Time to find out who's old, who remembers the original Bard's Tale. Oh, Bard's Tale was awesome. I like that game. Okay. Oh, Deathman just went real old school with Zork. <laughs> Zork. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So I think I've got everything set. Um, so you guys can go ahead and copy what I just posted. And then Ninth Pawn. Okay, you already put that up there. Perfect. Awesome. All right, everyone. So be sure to follow the Lotro Stream channel. I think it's up in this corner or maybe that corner. I don't know. Follow, the, click on the heart. <laughs> and if you guys like hanging out with me, like I like hanging out with you, go ahead and give me a follow and we could chill out again sometime. And send me your birthday because I will send you a message. It will most likely be funny. Other than that, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. It's been a blast. Tomorrow, here is the schedule, so you can catch the streamers who are going to be in tomorrow, which is Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. That's like, seriously, the first thing I remember about Al before I even knew him or befriended him or anything. I got on, and he's like, I'll be on on Thursday, and I made fun of him, and that was that's how our whole friendship started. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna host this, so make sure to go to that page. We're gonna post the Lotro stream raid, and we're gonna give this person an awesome raid. Thanks for hanging out, especially tonight, and Zinger for being in Discord with me tonight, and chilling out and having an awesome time. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks for the stream. Yep, you're very welcome. Thanks, everybody. Okay, what's this guy's name? Super Smith. All right, we'll see you guys over there. Good night.